washing the brush off and I'm going to put the colour of the water in next which is a pale blue plus white so that could be a cobalt blue with a tiny tiny touch of yellow ochre in there and if that's a bit too bright a touch of burnt sienna so that greys it very slightly In. Nice brisk strokes again. Quite roughly put in. It's more exciting with the paintwork if you're not too precious about it. A little bit more blue. And again, it doesn't matter if you slightly go over the drawing because you can bring that back with thicker paint, thicker, darker paint. down there. As we come to the foreground it's slightly darker putting a bit more blue in there so that the light is centered around the focal point which is the gondola. There we go. That's quite a big brush but you need those big three strokes to start with. That's the first wash on the water and I'm going to put just a bit of the colour of the buildings just slightly in the water while it's wet so that it goes slightly diffused. Work those in there. Clean the brush again and put some building shapes in against the sky and this is a blue, a bit of raw umber and white. So place these in next. Place these in quite deliberately. There we go. With a bit of white. And I can wash these in with some water. So that also gives you light through the white paper. Quick washes in. And this still is a little bit of white and raw umber. A little bit of burnt sienna in there isn't it, as well. So varying the colour of the buildings. and a bit of the sky colour in too. Onto the roofs. They make such wonderful patterns against the sky. And if you've got problems with perspective, the best way is to paint the shapes of the buildings up against the sky. And if you get the sky shape right, you get the building shapes right and that's the perspective would be okay. So we've got darker bu buildings just there with a little bit more blue in for, for the distance. As the buildings go back into the distance, the bluer they become. So we've put the first wash on over the buildings. That's what's so beautiful about acrylics, is that you can use them fairly thickly and very thinly, all in the same painting. A bit of white and a bit of blue, and this beautiful domed shape. That's right there. And we'll tackle all these thousand and one windows in a minute. And that can be a problem which can be solved. It's what to leave out, I think, with painting, isn't it? More than anything else. It's not to put everything in. So we put those in. Here we are. And a few dabs of blue and white. Now 
There we go, that's the first layer of colour. 